Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to my channel. This is a very short video of my new mountain bike. This is the Plus bike, high bike, 7.40. And you can see it's the Plus because there's a design on the frame and it has got 27.5 uh, inch wheels with uh, Alex rims uh, MD40 so 40 is uh, the inner white 40 millimeter wide rim inside and the outside is 45 and it's excellent uh, wide rim for running uh, plus tires they come stock installed with Swabi rocket run and the width is 2.8 inch so that's uh, 70 millimeter wide tires both on the front and in the back you can see rocket run you can zoom in a bit 2.8 inch that's 70 millimeter wide so it gives a lot of traction in the rear got pretty pretty wide shoulder knobs also middle knobs with sipings in it for grip there's even clearance in the frame for uh, wider tires 3.0 will fit too here you can see also clearance at the bottom brackets there are reinforcement bridges between the seat stays at the top, at the uh, uh, seat tube, and also at the bottom is a reinforcement bridge between the chain stay. The chain stay here has a true axle, so this is uh, 12 millimeter wide and uh, 148 millimeter. Uh, okay, 12 millimeter thick and 104. Yeah. 80, 148 millimeter wide so that's pretty cool that it has real true axle I know uh, some other plus bikes uh, like the track Roscoe has a quick release axle at the back so I don't like that true axle is a lot stiffer especially with the small wheels got shorter spokes than uh, 29 inch wheels the, di the circle the rim is smaller so that's stiff even in alloy it's stiff we got uh, a lot of spokes i believe 28 spokes and at the front of course there's also a very big 50 millimeter big thick uh, true axle and the width is 110 millimeter I'm running this brakes pretty large for a lot of braking power these are 180 millimeter in the front and also 180 in the back so that's pretty big and some some mountain bikes run 160 in the back but this is an, uh, enough stopping power the upgrade I made is larger cranks because I'm pretty large, I'm running a Shimano Irari XT 180 millimeter cranks. So that's that's nice for acceleration. See that here. The length of the crank. These are hollow cranks, hollow tech cranks, and 180. So still enough clearance between the crank and the ground. Also, I like about the bottom bracket is these uh, threaded BSA external Shimano bearings so I can replace this easily without having to press fit uh, to pr uh, press out any bearings you can replace these by just uh, threading it in and out so that's very easy and this seal, the seal on these bearings is good they're closed and they spin very smooth there's no play so that's that's really 
what I like about this alloy frame. And the group set is uh, Shimano uh, two times uh, ten speed, but I changed this to a single uh, front chain ring because I I only using the outer chain ring, which is uh, thirty six tooth Shimano two, and with ten speed in the back, the smallest cock LFT. That's enough. I can can come any climb any hill. I can climb any hill, no problem. With 36 in the front and the big in the rear. Oh, I'm, I never, I've never used the biggest cock in Holland, so even uh, I. That's I believe uh, 38 tooth, the biggest. But I have never used that. Uh, 38, 28 is the most I've used. I can also. There's also 32. So, what what uh, is also nice about the sprocket is the uh, cocks different differences are two teeth. So it starts with 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, 21. So when you're climbing a steep hill and you shift a few gears, you can uh, you need to shift a few gear few gears and then it's okay. So the difference is is good on when you're climbing hills and going downhill, climbing hills again. Yeah, so this is basically the high bike 7.40 edition. It's a two it's a 2016 model. And oh yeah, the front fork at at, at the last. That's uh, in the price category as you probably would expect. It's a Sun 2 Radon. I don't know if you can read it. Uh, yeah, radon L O R. It's a hundred millimeter air uh, fog, and it has not got a remote lockout. But this is a lockout on the fog, so when I ride it on the bike, it's no problem to to, to lock it. Uh, now it's open. When I go down here, I can easily uh, reach this and put it uh, to the right, so so it's locked locked when you're climbing a hill. So I don't need a lockout because yeah, this is a very short uh, distance. I can reach that easily. No problem.